Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be creating a pink and purple set. So today we are using some of my Samalac colors, which feels like I haven't actually used for some time. I've got quite a few of their colors, but I always recently been um, kind of drawn to the Madame Glam ones. I really like the consistency and everything. So they've kind of been my go-to, but today we have taken out some of those bad boys and we're gonna create a set with those. So just straight off the bat, I just wanted to let you guys know my big old issues that I've had with today's video it's been a big mess I recorded the video a long time ago and um, I couldn't transfer onto the computer due to the file being a weird format I think and then the program that I edit my videos on also wouldn't want to open up the file it was very weird I had to convert it into another file and um, it opened it then but it was just so hard to edit it was kind of lagging the program up and I feel like I lost quite a bit of quality in the video too so um, I'm so sorry about that I hope um, everything's fine no one watching because uh, it's such a shame because I really like the way this nail design came out in the end so it's such a shame that the video itself was a big old pain and it was so hard to edit so if at any point you also see some weird cuts or edits in here then I apologize too every time I tried to amend the clip in any way it was kind of lagging out on me and it was just quite hard to watch back the video and edit it well so I apologize for any issues coming along the way um, with today's video but hopefully all is well and nothing weird pops up while you're watching it so we're going to start off with applying our base colors of course so I'll show you guys the two colors which, which was the purple and the pink and I'm also going to use a white which is from Cloud Beauty I believe it's in the shade 3007 it's been my <laughs> go-to recently go-to white Cloud Beauty does have a different shade of white a different number but recently the 3007 has been the one I've just constantly been picking up it must be quite close to me that I keep picking it up because usually I can't really distinguish too well between um the two whites you know a white is a white to me <laughs> um but this one it definitely feels a bit more brighter so we will have two purple nails we've got one baby pink nail and then we're going to have two white nails so the two white nails are going to be there because we are going to do two foil nails so they're going to work as our background colors i f it also feels like i haven't done a foil nail in a long time as well recently it's been kind of stamping of course, always sugaring <laughs> and maybe some hand nail art here and there, but foils have kind of slowed down recently. So it's quite nice to have a little bit of a difference here. So I'm going in with a top coat now, and that's because we are going to sugar this nail. We've got a gorgeous purple glitter in the background, so we're going to sugar this one. I usually kind of sugar on top of a wet layer of the gel polish, but I either forgot and I just killed the whole set. <laughs> Or um, I might have just decided to do that because I quite like the colour and I didn't want it sinking into that purple and kind of changing the colour of the glitter. So um, I wanted it to kind of stay the way it was. So I'm just going to tap away uh, any excess. And now once I'm happy, I'll pop the whole set into the lamp, cure everything. And then um, I believe I've also already applied the transfer foil gel. So I've already done that off camera and cured it just so that it starts to kind of you know cool down the background because when it when it's cool it works better with your foils so if at any point you're struggling with your foils let it cool once you're you basically cure it under the lamp then let it kind of sit for a few minutes let it cool down let's it do its thing and then your transfer is going to be magical trust me <laughs> um but for some reason today was just not the day no matter what i did i left it for quite some time maybe it was the foil i think this foil was quite cheap I think I got it from Shein, I want to say. You know, with these foils, I feel like it's a hit and miss sometimes. And this one was a bit funny. I don't know whether it, maybe it's because it was quite old now. Maybe it just was sitting around for too long. But it was just quite difficult to transfer it onto the nail. So um, I have fast forward this bit so you guys don't get bored. <laughs> but um, my process is just place it down and just rub it with my fingers and slowly start to peel it away. If at any point I see that there's a bit that isn't pe um, is peeling away with the foil, place it back down, keep scrubbing that area and retry to pull the foil back out. So that's what I do and I'm going to repeat this process on the other white nail too. There we go, we've got one done, one more to go. I really like this foil. So basically today's set is almost like very heart themed we've got hearts everywhere even with the crystal placement later on we've <laughs> i decided to incorporate some heart like little charms and stuff because i felt like it just fitted in nicely with the whole set um yeah especially as one of the hearts has some gold detailing and this has some gold hearts there too so it kind of all nicely ties up together i think 
So we're going to finish that one. Once we're happy, we'll be able to crack on with the rest of the design. Truthfully, with this design, it's mainly the foil and the crystals that are really kind of bringing in some design to this set. There's a lot of crystals going on. Um, yeah, no nail art. So if you're not a fan of nail art, you kind of like to just do some things quick, then this is definitely the one. So now that they're transferred over, it's time to wipe the other purple nail that we've got so i've got these little silvery lines i recently came across a nail design that used them and ever since i've just been constantly picking them up and wanting to use them so i'm going to place it in the middle of the nail you saw me wiping it down and that's because i find that when i wipe off the tacky layer the stickers stick down better and they don't move about and it's just easier to work with so um, i'm gonna place it as center as i possibly can there we go i think it's it's probably the best I could do. <laughs> it doesn't look the worst. And luckily it was the length of the nail too. So I didn't have to trim it. So now it's time for some crystals. So here's that little gold heart that I was talking about. And some of these little heart charms there too. And we also have got some caviar beads. And also some gold caviar beads. That's probably also to tie in that gold little aspect. To the crystal placement. So we're going to apply a bunch of random little charms for that pink nail. Um, <laughs> so we're going to start off with I think the white heart right at the top but we're going to flip the heart upside down actually okay maybe we're not but there will be a white heart right at the top um, above the gold heart there so we'll get that to that in a second so we're placing that big old little gold heart in the middle we are then going to apply that bow there too and then at the bottom we're going to apply some of that teardrop look little crystal there as well and that's kind of the main crystal placement. It's quite wild. It's definitely not something that I often do. But I have to say, I love it. I just love how different and so much is going on. And I do find these little charms and bows quite hard to work with sometimes. I find them quite hard to place down on a nail to create this crystal placement. So um, I was actually quite excited that this kind of came out looking kind of nice. I don't know how I fully feel about that gold detailing on that heart crystal in the center. Um, but it's gonna have to do now when <laughs> we place it down. It doesn't it doesn't look the worst, that's for sure. So there's that white heart that we placed right at the top that I said that we flipped upside down. I've already cured this nail and you can tell because that white heart has now turned pink and that happens quite often. So um, you can leave it for a few minutes and then it will just go back to its normal color. I'm not too sure why it does that. Um, they don't glow in the dark or anything, so I'm not sure why it's changing color. Maybe it's just the material it was cr made with. And then we're going to place some very, very small caviar bead detailing. It's probably not necessarily needed. It doesn't, it's not that noticeable, but I placed three at the bottom and three at the top. And then I'm going to cure this one and the whole set is done. Well, not the whole set. This one nail is done. <laughs> We've got two more nails where we're going to place some crystals. So the next one up is going to be that silver line one. So for this one, we're going to kind of place the rhinestone glue gel in the center of the nail following that silver line. And we are going to place a pink heart this time in the middle. I just felt like it would suit quite nicely because we have a pink nail uh, that we've just popped into the lamp. So I felt like it could fit nicely in with the rest of the set. And I'm then going to place two AB crystals um, at the top of that nail. Well, at the top of the um, heart and then two at the bottom. So I'm kind of trying to place a bigger one, the closest to the heart. And then the next one up was going to be a slightly smaller AB. And then, once I'm happy, I might have cured it in between, depends how confident you feel with your crystal placement. I either cured in between or I went in straight away with the caviar beads. And for this caviar bead, it's just going to be very simple, just placing it in between the crystals and the hearts, just to add in that extra little detailing, which I love to do. There we go, I don't think I cured it <laughs> in the end. Um, it's quite nice not to cure sometimes, just because you have that rhinestone residue already there, so... You might not even need to add that extra little bits and, bob and bits and bobs in between the crystals to place the caviar beads in there. So I'll use my nail art brush, pick up some of that rhinestone glue, I shove it in between those two crystals and then using that exact same brush I pick up the caviar beads. So I wouldn't always recommend doing what I do here. So as you can see they're all stuck now in that little pot so what I would recommend you can use the brush to pick up the caviar beads but I'd take a few out place it on your little table and um, pick it up from there because now my pot has a lot of rhinestone glue gel in there all of those caviar beads have stuck together and just it's just a bit of a pain really <laughs> so I don't recommend doing that it's not the worst 
um i can still use them and everything it's just they're like sticky and it's not quite you know it's hard to get them out of the pot now so yeah so don't do that <laughs> and also because you leave that rhinestone glue gel on them some of them have started to kind of change color a little bit which is obviously understandable so yeah i just don't recommend doing it i suggest just what i did there just pop a few on your table and pick them up from your table so that you're not leaving any rhinestone glue gel residue in your little pot so once I'm happy with this nail, which I love this nail so much, uh, and I straighten everything up like I, just like I like it, <laughs> just as straight as I possibly could make it, I will pop it into the lamp and we will have one more nail to do some crystals on and then that's job done. We can just top coat these bad boys and it's all good to go. So the last nail that we need to apply some crystals on is going to be one of those foil nails in the background. So I'd suggest picking up the one that maybe transferred the least well <laughs> um usually if there's any area in the middle that didn't transfer very well that will be the nail you probably want to pick up um so we're going to place a very similar rhinestone placement that we just did on that silver line nail and that's because it's going to be also right in the center of the nail and also a line but instead of putting a heart in the middle we're just going to place some ab crystals and um, we're going to start off with the biggest one in the middle and then the further away we get the smaller ones we're going to use but all together we're going to place five crystals down and then same thing with the caviar beads as well once you're happy pop those caviar beads in between the crystals just to give it that extra little detailing uh, looks amazing trust me it's so nice and then pop it into the lamp and then once you're done it's just top coating these and it's a good to go set really <laughs> so i'll probably let you guys watch this bit and i'll come back to you guys once this nail is all nice and done Okay, so we're coming to the end of the snail. I quite like the crystals on a very busy nail. It looks kind of nice, I think. So, it's time to top coat. So, once again, the pink nail has decided to go like this tomato-y red. <laughs> so, the white one went a pinky colour. The pinky one went kind of red. I wonder what the other colours are going to change into. But like I said, just give it a minute and it'll go back to its normal colour. Possibly even, yeah, the one in the background is already back to being white, which is great. Um, so now we just got a top coat. So um, if you're not familiar, just try to top coat around the crystals. Don't go over them because you're just going to end up dimming them, especially in my case, as the crystals I use are not real Swarovskis or any real crystals. They're just like AliExpress kind of quality. So you don't want to dim them down even more when they're already kind of not as sparkly as a real crystal. So try and go around them as much as possible. Um, I do try, but of course, this is just for the video, so if at any point I go over them, it's not a big deal. Uh, so I'm just going to go around, and it also helps kind of the crystals stay in place as well. It creates this really nice layer to help them stay in place when your client is wearing them as well, which is great. So we're going to finish them up, pop them into the lamp. Um, the top coat that I'm using is from Vanalisa. I love it so much. I get all of their like refillable bottles as well, which is great. <laughs> I highly recommend those. They're so great. When you're running out, there's nothing worse than running out and just kind of waiting on your order to arrive. And it's just such a pain when you've got these little refillable bottles. So I get the, I think it's, I think they're like 30 mils and I just refill my bottles up. But they also do like massive, big old like refillable bottles. They're humongous and they'll last you forever <laughs> so especially when you're in nail tech and you use top coats all the time for you know daily plenty of times those would be great for you guys absolutely amazing so we're just gonna finish this one up pop into the lamp and here are the final results the hearts changed colors again but i'll show you guys in just a second what the colors are sh should look like because <laughs> i've already of course done this set so this is what it's supposed to look like that's the colors that they're meant to be so if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i would love to see you all in my next video bye guys